What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. EA have released a new patch um, and we're going to try and uh, experiment and experience with the new patch um, here today. Um, but they've basically released a patch where it talked about um, the overload ball side and it's matching now. When you're on overload ball side, it will match the stamina loss as if you were on constant pressure, which I personally think is a brilliant addition. I've been saying for some time now, almost two years, that one very easy paper over the crack fix that EA can do for these overpowered defensive mechanics is a, like obliterating stamina because... The, the the fact that people defend heavy isn't the problem. It's the fact that they can attack at will when with full stamina after defending so heavily that is the problem. You know, they can literally sit back for 70 minutes whilst you lose stamina and their players don't and then start hitting you with those chip through balls, uh, you know, to their player of the month Vardis or their Adama Triores and uh, it gets a bit frustrating. So I just always assume that, hey, one quick fix will just be to drain stamina, man, because if you drain stamina real quick... Uh, or, or at a relatively higher pace, when it comes to the end of the game or the last 30 minutes or so, you're not like you're not going to be able to break out with a uh, player of the month, Jamie Vardy, or a headliner as a Dharma Traore because they're going to be drained. So, you, you know, there's going to be balance there. So I'm a big fan of this. I know a lot of people aren't. And, and obviously, I can say that I'm a big fan of the idea of it, but in practice, I want to see how it works. So what we're going to do today is we're going to build a Spain squad. We're going to have a full Spanish squad builder today. Um, but we're also going to play uh, overload ball side the whole game as well and see what it does to the stamina. I read a tweet. I don't know how true it is. So I want to, I really want to see this for myself. But I read a tweet that um, that uh, it, like it's also draining the stamina of the players on the bench. And you can see my bench here. You might see a new addition. Um, we packed from our ultimate pack from the golden goat vinicius jr um you guys will see that in a in a future video for the the goal the 300 foot champs wins that i got i have got the clip saved and recorded and stuff but yeah we got him he's untradeable he was the only decent thing in the whole the whole uh, pack so that that was it i mean i know he's a nice player to get um but what we're building the spanish squad for today is to work towards bartra um the shapeshifters bartra i've got three days left on him um these first four i don't i'm not really focusing on them score two goals using spanish players in two separate rivals matches doesn't have to be a win um score a chip shot using a la liga player in two separate rivals matches again doesn't have to be with a win score uh, sorry assist two goals using la liga forwards in two separate squad battles wins or rivals i don't know if it means rivals wins or rivals games um, but basically these first four i might do some of this accidentally whilst playing with a full spain squad and i might not i don't know this is the one that we're building the squad for. This has to be in rivals and it has to be wins. Scoring eight separate rivals wins using Spanish players. So, of course, if we use a full Spanish squad, we essentially only have to win eight games. And that, that will be good enough. Now, I have got non-Spaniards on the bench, which obviously will have an impact if we win and then go from there. But for today, as I said, guys, uh, we are going to be going into the, uh, the Spanish area now. Most of what I'm going to be using is first owner. There's one non-first owner player in the team. I have had packed and used De Gea multiple times throughout this game cycle, but uh, I don't have him anymore. I use him in an S. I think I use him in the Rooney SBC. Uh, we're also going to have Sergio Ramos, who is going to start at right back for us. Um, he is going to play centre back, and that is because uh, Bernat is going to start as well. Bernat is going to get into the team um, in the the back line. Jordi Alba is going to get into the team in the back line, and then last but not least, Gerard Piquet is going to get in the team. I don't know if I want to start Bernat on full chem and Alba on seven chem. Now, of course, Jordi Alba has a great card and with Anker still gets a good boost. Nice little pace boost there. He'll get a bigger boost once we get 100 team chemistry and the full team in and the manager in as well. Um, but yeah, he gets a, or I think the manager might already be in. He gets a good boost there and has 97 stamina and, and good stats in general. So I think Bernat, I think it's more important that we get good, good stats on Bernat, I suppose. And of course... I don't want the Maestro chem style on him. I had that on him before because uh, we was using him up front, of course. If I have an anchor, I want an anchor. There you go, I have two anchors. So I do want an anchor on Burnout. And I think I would prefer Burnout to be on 10 chem um, rather than uh, Jordi Alba. That does mean that I'm going to have to make a few changes in tactics, but I want to show you guys my tactics as well uh, in just a second. So that's what the back line is going to look like. Well, 
that's what the back line is going to look like. Wait, what's burnout for skill moves and weak foot? Four star skill moves, three star weak foot, and Jordi Alba is four star, three star, three star. So uh, left footed for Jordi Alba. I think Burnout's left footed too. Yeah. So that, that, I'll probably just use um, Burnout right back because he's got four star skill moves. So our back line will actually look like this. Of course, it's more beneficial for us to start like this for for chemistry and stats reasons. Uh, in at CDM, guys. Um, the first player that we're going to have, not a right mid, that's for sure. Um, the first player that we're going to have is going to be Pep Guardiola. Um, haven't used him in a long time. He's got a lot of games for us, 409. It's going to be good to have him back in the club. I know he's a terrible, terrible player these days. His, his defending is good. His dribbling isn't bad. His passing isn't bad and his pace is good. It's his physicals and, and that stamina is actually going to be a really interesting test to see how, how obliterated he gets with overload ball side on. Uh, and then our other CDM is going to be Santi Cadola right there. So uh, again, another guy with really low stamina. So we're going to have to sub both of those guys off most likely. Uh, put a sentinel on him just to heavy boost his defending and physical because his dribbling's nice, his passing's nice, his shooting's nice. His pace obviously isn't so nice. Um, but he's going to be going in there. In at cam, guys, I went and bought. So the only player that I did buy is Luis Alberto's headliner card. This card is only 87k. That's a crazy price. A, for a 90 rated live item uh, but b other than a couple of unfortunate stats here he's not bad three star weak foot sucks four star skill moves is quite nice um his stamina again isn't the best and his composure isn't the best but the rest of his card is really nice i like it a lot and i like the engine chem style on him as well and then our other uh center mid slash cam i'll show you guys the tactics in a second is going to be this morales card now he has been a lot of fun and of course for some of the uh, Bartra objectives, uh, we've got La Liga, Santi, La Liga, Morales. So we've got some La Liga, and then obviously our back line is mostly La Liga too. So we've, we can do some stuff with the La Liga uh, stuff there. So just Morales card at four star, four star is real nice. Uh, 83 stamina, great dribbling with a sniper, great attacking with a sniper. Not the best passing, um, but I think he is going to be playing up front for us. Uh, and then we also have uh, our... One of, our, one of the first players that I thought was going to be one of the best players, and that is going to be Lucas Vasquez. Um, he has got really good stats. 97 stamina with good dribbling with the right chem style and good passing with the right chem style. It's that finishing that lets him down massively. Um, but he's going to be going into our squad as well. Another La Liga uh, player and um, another, another obviously good addition to the squad. And then last but not least, we're going to have uh one of our main mans you know one of our main men david Villa. again this card was brilliant for us 111 goals in 118 games with 39 assists and he has played a lot of weird games you know a lot of sub appearances a lot of appearances where i like went one nil down in a game for objectives and just quit out so you know th th this card I, I like it a lot and this is the team guys basically this is my full spain squad um, obviously I could have had a few other players like that. There's a few, there's a few Spaniards that I didn't do, uh, that I kind of wish I did now. And, and what we're going to do on this channel, on this series going forward is definitely going to make me rethink how I do and what SBCs I do. But for, as a prime example, that Iniesta would be really good to have in the club right now. And we don't have him, of course. And he, I think I actually used him in an SBC. So that was just, that was just stupid because I did have him. Um, the David De Gea Futmus card we didn't do, uh, and he was relatively cheap as well. Um, the Diego Costa flashback card, he would be brilliant to have right now. You know, whilst sometimes you can't necessarily justify the cost that EA are charging for some of these cards, when it comes to an occasion like this, it's like, man, maybe I should have done it. You know, that as Piliqueta and Fla Fabregas flashback cards, the Juan Mata flashback card, didn't do any of those. So I missed out on a few of the Spanish players that we uh, we could potentially have had, guys. But I've got 99 stamina on all of the players. So let me show you what I'm going to be doing with the uh, with the tactics. Um, so I've got my I'm going to be playing four triple two pressure on heavy touch three depth long ball. Uh, in terms of the formation, oops. As I said, we're going to be playing four triple two. Uh, we're going to play Jordi Alba at left back. We're going to play Bernat at right back, and then PK and Ramos in the middle. Guardiola and Cazorla in the CDM spots. Morales and David Villa up front with Luis Alberto and Lucas Vasquez out on the wings. And then for the player instructions, we're going to have our oh, change of tactics. You know, so get behind, drift wide, and stay forwards for the two ta uh, attackers. Uh, we're going to have the two CDMs to stay back and cover center. Uh, the two fullbacks to stay back while attacking, and the two cams are just going to be on balance. So that guys is going to be the team, uh, the full squad. And all we have to do is win. So if I'm in a position where I'm quite clearly losing or getting outclassed, I'll probably just quit the game. 
Um, just, you know, I'm not in really a high elo right now in Rivals, but uh, hopefully we can go through and get at least, I'm probably going to play two or three games for today's video uh, and just, just give you guys the highlights. So let's go and get into game number one and see how this team plays. All right, guys, here we go into the first round or the first game, should I say. We're up against a 4-4-2. He's got the uh, Ben Yedder player of the month. Kevin De Bruyne up there as well. The Neymar, Alwar and Kante. What a weird combination. To have that regular Alwar in there um, is quite bizarre because he's got player of the month Ben Yedder and the, and the uh, moments Bernardo Silva. Like, I, I, I would go for a more well-rounded midfield there. But hey, each to their own. Uh, it's a shame that he would have missed out on the 87 Alwar from season objectives. I don't know why he wouldn't have done that. Well, maybe he didn't know that this was going to be his team. So I'm going to go on overload ball side, guys, from the, the, the start. One of the interesting things for me, as I said to you guys, I had my my bench was on full stamina. My whole team was on full stamina, as you would have seen when I showed you. So first of all, I want to understand if this glitch with regards to the bench is real or not. You know, maybe it was just somebody on Twitter trying to gain clout by lying about something basic. I don't know why people would lie about that, but you know what people are like in, uh, in today's world. Um... And here's David Villa. That's some nice, nice turning from him. We've got the ball with Morales. Santi Cazorla into Guardiola. Guardiola's got Vasquez. Vasquez has got a bit of space there. Not quite. Um, so, yeah, I, I just want to find out, first of all, if that happens. And second of all, what kind of level of stamina draining are we going to be experiencing now with overload ball side apparently having some new stamina issues or, or changed, you know, changed the way the stamina goes? So let's find out. That's a good ball to the back post. And that's going to be Luis Alberto. And he scored with a header. Let's go, man. Now I can make subs as well with, with no problem because I've scored with the Spaniard already. And that's the only win condition there. I'll to do an elastico there with Santi. Obviously, I haven't won the game yet. But uh, Neymar through there. PK's catching, but is he going to get there in time? He's not, but Neymar pops it wide. Lovely through ball on here. Bit of space inside. That's nice play. That's really nice play. David Villa's away here. Vasquez finds a spot. Oh, we got that back post on again. And there's... Oh, have I not got a header on that? This guy is fine, leaving me loads of space over at that back post. That's nice from Ramos, man. He is... I already loved Sergio Ramos. I use him a lot in draft. Um, and already, you know, enjoyed him a lot. So now that we've got his uh, right-back card in at centre-back, it just feels good. Here's David Villa. I had a chance to do uh, something a little bit better there, but that's our ball again. Nice. Oh, that could be a goal there. Oh, Ter Stegen's just got it. I was not really trying too hard to come out. He's on one depth drop back. And th th this is where, for me, when I was talking about stamina over the past two years and, and how defensive AI and, and defending in general should get punished stamina-wise, this is exactly why, right? This guy's sitting so deep. And I get punished because, the, you know, a bad pass or bad connectivity costs me a, a, a possession. I get punished because he gets to counterattack with no problems. I would love it if people are on super defensive tactics. Any super defensive tactic should should be, you know, punished with stamina loss, I think. And let people kind of use them sparingly. Use them when they need to. You know, if you're in the last 10 minutes and you're 1-0 up and you need to desperately hold on... Go and use that defensive tactic and, you know, you have to just pay the price and hope that you've you've got long enough. But look at this guy. He's 1-0 down, 25 minutes in. He's got three men standing up front. He's got six, maybe seven men behind the ball. And the frustrating thing is, as we well know, is that I'm the one that will get punished, like right now, if I lose the ball. Because he just gets to counterattack so perfectly because of this way, the way this game and this system is set up. And I think it sucks. And so what happens is, is I now have to play a game in in two different manners, right? Number one, I have to play the game knowing that I'm just going to get countered constantly. Go on, go on, David. Let's go. That's a lovely goal. Yeah, I have to play knowing that I'm just going to get countered constantly and just deal with that if I lose. Or I have to play aggressive, hoping that I score a second like I just have and, and know that, you know, even if I do get countered the odd occasion here or there, first of all, this guy has to score. And then second of all, <clears throat> he has to, uh, you know, he has to actually get the ball and, and have a good attack. Um, and the other way that I get to play is I get to play a really boring, negative style of FIFA. And that's something that I don't particularly want to do. 
Uh, and now this guy's 2-0 down. All of a sudden, he, he's attacking the ball. You know, he's, he's no longer eight men behind the ball. I'm offside there as well. Um, now now he's trying to actually play FIFA. And I just... I, I, what The reason why I want stamina to be drained for super defensive tactics is because I would like this to be the default. Me personally, this is this is a video game. It should be about fun. There, there, obviously, there should be skill taken into consideration and, and tactics and, uh, you know, different play styles taken into consideration. Um, but I think that this game would do better and be served better if the standard of uh, the way people play was aggressive attacking football first and defensive football second, rather than defensive football first and attacking football if you need to. You know, that for me just promotes really, really negative style of FIFA and, and really, really toxic like communities within the game. So yeah, I, I personally... Would like it if uh, if the way this guy's playing now was people's default. You know, hey, let's let's both play really attacking football. We'll see who comes out on top. If you score, then feel free to go defensive, right? Because now I know for you know if you score against me, first of all, I know you've earned your goal because you've you've worked offensively to get it. But second of all, I also know that if you go defensive, you're going to be in trouble. Let's go, man. That's a good goal. I know you're going to be in trouble if if you stay defensive too long because you're just going to end up losing stamina and it's going to be a case of attack versus defense only and you're never going to be able to break out. So, you know, I'm happy with that. So here we are anyway, guys. We're 3-0 up. We're approaching half halftime. Uh, this guy, he has gone more aggressive, but he's passing around his back line. I don't know why. And you can see straight off the bat, I mean, I know I've got a few players out there with relatively low stamina, but you can see straight off the bat. Look at the Look at the stamina levels of my players. And that is going to hurt me late game. Now I'm already fortunate enough that I'm uh, I'm I'm leading three nil. Uh, because if I wasn't leading three nil, I could be in a lot of trouble here. If this was still nil nil, look at Morales there. He, even after the board gone out, his stamina was draining like crazy. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, uh, as again, I think it's a positive change what EA have done here. That's going to be half time, isn't it? I should have just chipped the keeper to make it four 0 Never mind, isn't it? Oh, scoring a chip shot is one of the objectives as well. God damn it, that's that's a bad that's bad for me. I could do those in squad battles, but I've dominated. High possession, high chances, high passing. Let's have a look. I don't know if you can see stamina straight away. Yeah, I mean, first of all, I want to look at the bench. No, so my bench is okay. So that that was not true. What somebody said about the the bench getting drained, but my team is definitely considerably more drained than normal at this stage which is important to notice because i've had most of the possession now imagine that i have less possession i might let this guy just hold the ball a little bit more because it's only when you're defending that the stamina really for the overload ball side should be getting taken off because when you have possession you don't need to overload the ball side because you have the ball right so uh, obviously it's something that only comes into consideration when you don't have the possession um and we'll we'll, we'll figure that out i guess Oh, David Villa. That's into Vasquez. I've tried the chip shot. I've not got it. See, now, now he's got he's gone from all-out defense at 0-0 zero, zero and 1-0 down to a bit more attacking at 2-0 down to all-out attack at 3-0. And guess what? He scores from it. And that, that, again, just makes me wonder why people play this way so much. Why do you play so defensive when you can actually score about... You could score anyway by playing attacking football? See now, I actually might be in trouble in this game now as well. This is this is truly where overload ball side could really start to hurt me. Is that even though I'm still winning the game, my players are on low stam and he's playing attacking, and so he's got real good opportunity to get back into this game. It's David Villa. There's Luis Alberto. Now that is a chip shot. I know in squad battles. Chip shots only count if it literally goes over the goalkeeper. It's not the chip shot modifier per se that, you know, determines whether or not it's considered a chip shot. It's whether or not the ball goes over the keeper. So I know on that instance there, the ball didn't go over the keeper. This one, it will, though. No, well, it won't. The keeper's made a save. Oh, he's away. Or if it could just be with uh, any player. All right, he's got a goal. another goal back there with 4-2 now. And his Neymar's pulled him right back into this game. That's nice. Oh, I rushed it. Don't worry, he rushed it too. Here's Morales. Here's Morales. Here's Morales! He's moved his keeper and we're 5-2 up. Let's go. We put another ball in the back of the net. A lot of goals in this game. A lot of goals, but uh, very nice indeed. 
through here. Could easily get a goal. That's a good block from Ramos. It's a good tackle as well. Who is that? Guardiola. Honestly, dead. Absolutely dead. Oh, we've done him. That's where that lack of stamina is, is really hurting. And, and you can see. Now, I, I will concede the fact that I don't have the greatest stamina players on my team. Right? Sure don't. Um, I, I've got only a few in the 90s. Most in like the mid to low 80s. And, and some in the 70s and 60s with the, you know, regards to Kozola and uh, and uh, a few others. I don't know what David Villa has, but let's get this ball in here. Nope. Um, so, yeah. I, but with that being said, look at Guardiola here. All I've done is put overload ball side on as a tactic. Even Jordi Alba, who has very good stamina. Uh, you know, it's his road to the final card. Um, he is on his feet. And that should be full time, which it is. So let's have a look at how much stamina was drained from these players. Luis Alberto, another one with relatively low stamina. So obviously, we won the game uh, relatively comfortably, you know. So three goals for Alberto, one for Villa, one for Morales, uh, two assists for Alberto. So we got three goals and two assists, uh, two for David Villa and one for Guardiola. So we didn't get the two goals and two assists with uh, La Liga players. We, I, I don't know. I can't remember what else was, uh, was available. Um, in terms of fitness, I mean, that's very high. Minus eight on the strikers, minus nine on the CDMs and on Luis Alberto. Minus six on Vasquez. Uh, obviously, fitness doesn't represent stamina per se. This is what they'll lose now going into the uh, into the next game. You know, Guardiola will be on 90 stamina rather than 99. Um, unless, of course, you apply a stamina card. But yeah, that's where we're at with that. And that, that was definitely, it, it, again, in my opinion, an improvement. Because that, that guy wasn't particularly great at FIFA. He wasn't bad at FIFA. I'm not trying to bash him. Um, but a better player would have recognized my low stamina, would have made some subs, some pacey, some pacey subs, and would have done a better job of getting back into that game in the late stages, uh, whereas they didn't because of that. So I, I know some people got some issues with that. What was this one? Score two goals using Spanish players as done. Um, yeah, I, I know some people have got some issues uh, with this potentially being just like a, a weak fix or like lazy fix and stuff like that. I personally like it a lot. I think EA have done a good job with it. And I think it's going to show some positivity um, in the usage of, or the lack of usage of overload ball side uh, going forward. So for me, it's a win so far. We're going to experiment with it a bit more. We're going to have one or two more games for today's video. Um, but for now, I'll be right back. All right, guys, into the final game for today's episode. We are up against a 4-5-1. Another player of the month, Ben Yedder. That's interesting, isn't it? And he's got Neymar as well. That is very interesting. Now, his back line is pretty damn awesome. Uh, James is great. Kante and Sissoko are great. Ben Yedder is great. Neymar is great. I have a feeling that Sarabia might be getting subbed off straight away. His, the rest of his team is just far too strong uh, for Sarabia to be a permanent fixture in this lineup. Or maybe not. Maybe he's using him for the Spain goals, actually. So, yeah, potentially he'll leave Sarabia on, try and score with him um, and go from there. So, we're going to get into this game, guys. I know the first game was a bit long because it was a lot of chatting uh, from me about the overload ball side, which I'm not going to use, actually. I, I don't think it's worthwhile at this point. And, um, yeah, let, we'll get into some highlights here. All rolls inside. He's giving me the space, the shot, the save. Oh, he's got through there with Neymar. That's going to be a good goal. It's, it's a nice finish in the end. I, I, read the, I read the play with PK, but the pass still went through. So, too bad there. Um, it's definitely been one of those games where I think we're going to struggle a lot. This guy obviously has a, a much, much better squad. Guardiola is not really the guy that I want on the ball. There you go. Morales more is. Morales is. Oh, it's fallen to Luis Alberto. He is. Oh, that was Vasquez, actually. And there you go. We've got a goal. I thought that was going to be Luis Alberto there. But Alberto obviously got a hat-trick and two assists in his first game for us. And uh, fortunate enough there that Vasquez, even with his relatively low finishing, was able to pop that one in the back of the net. Oh, wow. What a finish that is from Van Dijk. I don't know how he's managed to score like that. The keeper's moved away from the ball. I brought the keeper out, but his Van Dijk has chested that and leathered that in like it was absolutely nothing. Um, all right, since we've uh, already scored with a Spanish player, we brought on Vinicius Jr., Eden Hazard, and Kevin De Bruyne, team of the year. So two more La Liga players into the team. This guy's controlling possession well. He's, he's doing. Um, he's, he's just playing 
what we were talking about in the last game, I suppose. You know, he's winning and he's playing relatively just, just the safest FIFA that you can imagine that for me is just not exciting enough to play this game. Um, but obviously each to their own. And uh, I'm, I'm feeding into the way he's playing just a little bit too much. Oh, he's so lucky there, though. Uh, hopefully we can just get a goal back in this second half and make it 2-2 two -two and, and, and give ourselves an opportunity. But who knows? And that's 3-1 with Ben Yedder there. I tried the offside trap for the pass, but he got the pass in just before I did the offside trap. So 3-1 now down, down now, guys. Is we're, we're, we're going to struggle to get back into this game here. That's nice. There's Vinicius. There's Vinicius. And there's Vinicius. Oh, my God. I've hit the post. EA, please. There we go. Come on. Surely Morales. There we go. 3-2. We, we have seven minutes to go. We could potentially squeeze a draw out of this game. That's all right. That's all right. De Bruyne. Oh, Allison's made a save. All right, we've got a corner. Can we get this back in at 3-3? Come on. Whips that ball in. Here's Vinicius Jr. <clears throat> that, that'd be it. I don't know how... Vinicius Jr., I've, I've, all I've done is left stick dribbled and he's managed to trip himself up to... Like, you know, it's, it's a weird one to explain, but they just lose a little bit of control of the ball and it was enough for Ronaldo to step in. So we lost that one 3-2, guys. I tried my best. That, that, was, that was quite a frustrating game, you know. Um, Kepa just didn't do great. Ten saves for his Allison. Ten saves. I can't do much more than that. You know what I mean? I tried, I tried my best. I gave it my all. Uh, and it wasn't good enough. But that, guys, is going to be the end of the video. Uh, I will see you tomorrow for some more FIFA action. Thank you for watching. And I'm out. Peace.